Hello guys and welcome to free words crew. So in this video, I will tell you about the concept of underfitting and overfitting. So underfitting and overfitting are the two major problems in machine learning domain. So whenever you try to build a machine learning model, so if that model has the underfitting and overfitting issues, then your model does not perform well in the production or when used by the client. Okay, so let's start understanding what is underfitting. Okay, so underfitting occurs when your machine learning model is too simple, but your data set is too complex. So in that way, your model does not understand the relationships of the variables or the de dependencies of the variable in the data correctly that yields the low accuracy of the machine learning model on the training data. Okay, so in that way, you can just say that your model has a very high bias and a very low variance. Okay, whenever your model has a very high bias and a low variance, then the underfitting occurs and it can yield the high train and test errors. Okay, because for the training data, error are high, test data, error are high as well. Okay, but for the overfitting things, for the overfitting things, your model is too complex and your data is too simple. Okay, so when you build a very complex mo model for a very simple data your model capture all the dependencies all the fluctuations all the noise in the data that doesn't require to be captured okay so your model will have a very high variance because because of that high variance it capture all the small small details in your data that yield to very low train error but when you are t testing that model on the test data set then it performs very poorly because at the time of the testing your test error is high because your model does not perform well on the test data it is performing well on the train data but not on the test data because of it has high, high variance and low bias as well okay uh, if you can just check if you can just uh, build a machine learning model that is too complex and you want to get the accuracy of that model on the train data it will give you a good, good accuracy but if you try to get the same accuracy on the testing data, it will give you the very less accuracy in the model. Okay. So as you just see this uh, uh, graph over here, I just build these graphs out, out of by using the uh, polynomial uh, regression. So when we have the degree one, it, it is just build a like regression line. It gives the R square value of 0 0.09. It only 9% accuracy is here. So that is the like your underfitted model. Because your model does not capture all the dependencies here okay then we just uh, make the degree 2 so in the de degree 2 your model accuracy got increased and it sta started to capturing the uh, variations or the fluctuations in the data but not quite well okay because these two or three data points are still very far away from the line okay when you increase the degree a little more okay so in that way, it will increase the accuracy a little, little bit as well. And it tries to capture more of the uh, fluctuations in your uh, data as well. Okay. So these two conditions are like very sweet spot conditions because your model is not overfitted or not, not underfitted. But if you decrease the degree to five, your model accuracy is one. Okay. So in that way, your model captures all the fluctuations here. So in that way, you can say that my model is overfitted here because if it captures all the small small fluctuations in that data here it gives accuracy of 100 percent on your training data but on the test data it doesn't perform well then you can say your model is overfitted okay so in that way you can identify that uh, uh, your model is underfitted or your model is overfitted by analyzing the test train errors okay so I hope you guys completely understand about this concept and uh, we'll meet in our next video where I will talk about the decision trees and I explain everything about the decision tree from its mathematics, from how it works, how it sp split the tree as well. I can explain everything to you guys. So we we'll meet in our next video. For then, please keep uh, liking, commenting and subscribe our YouTube channel and we have to make our watch hours to 500 as soon as possible thank you guys thank you so much